Welcome to Fully Cooked. Cooked, because we cook like a bunch of bulls too. Fully Cooked! Okay, so I have almost all of this completely empty. Can you get me the other things out of there? Yep. Can you tell me what they are? This is a white basket, rectangle big. Very good. I think I'll put my baking stuff in there. Thank you. Here's a cup for some tea with a red big stripe on it. Yeah, I like to have Tennessee tea in that one. And here's a thing for a sprayer thing. So you can put some water in it. And so you can drink it. Thanks. Here's a scrubber tube. That's the lid for it. Okay. Here's a, mix, a milkshake pad. What you drink out of. Thank you. Be careful because it's glass. Yeah, it is. Oops. Something dropped. See how inefficient this cabinet is? I wish that it was a Lazy Susan. This is a thing what you drink tea out of? Something like that. Thank you. Oops, something far away. See how he, he's like almost all the way in there. Yeah, don't climb on it. I don't know how sturdy it is. It might fall. Oof. Oof. I know, Oof. right? Thank you so much. This is a glass thing what you drink pot tea out of? Pot tea? Yeah. Hmm. I haven't tried that. Maybe sometime. Still got stuff in there? My goodness. This is stuff I haven't seen for a year. This so I must not need it. A jar? Yeah, I don't need it. Thanks. You you need that jar. We're going to get rid of stuff, honey. Yeah. We we ain't, we're not going to keep it. No. Mm -mm. We're going to keep some stuff. Okay, let's see what else we got in there. Oop. Last thing. Okay. With a purple lid on. All right, let's see it. Be careful because it's glass too. Mm, don't need that either. It is pretty though. It's a thing that you can look shake out I of used tea. it for tea for a very long time. It's got tea stains on it. Okay, thank you. It's Anything else? Is that it? That's it. Is it empty completely all the way, all, all the corners? But down low there's a basket there. Is there? Let me see it. Here, it's pink. Go There's ahead. some full stuff in there. Yeah, I think it goes under the sink. Let's see it. Could hide two small children in there. Ooh, Ooh my vanilla beans that I haven't seen for two years. Okay. I I already had those mm. vanilla bean the vanilla beans in a jar. That's glass. All right, let's get some more. Okay. Yeah, I make my own vanilla, and there's the remnants of the. Last one that I made. Ooh, these are my favorite things inside Ooh, this thing. Ooh, I bet they thing. are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What it's else not I got? Glass. It's not glass. Mm, no, it's plastic. All the stuff I don't need. Yeah, these are going to go in the garbage. They're garbage. Nope. They're squeeze things that yeah. we use. Got anything else in there? Yep. Oh, great. I can use this for vegetables in the fridge. Awesome. All empty? The whole yep. thing? All gone? Yep. Thank you. All right, here's stuff I'm getting rid of. So, I have this underneath of my island. And it's my dirty little secret because nobody can see it. Cause there's a wall back there. But it's really dirty, dirty little secret. I need to get rid of all of these baskets, really. I'm going to try to get rid of a lot of them because my daughter, she is not even one year old and she is getting into everything over here. So, got to get rid of stuff. Let's see. Out of one basket, I got all these bibs. Now, some of these are for artwork, two of them, and one of them is a, uh, you know, a cooker's chef thing. It's something that Raphael can put on him when he's cooking, but he's never used it. And this is an art thing, and these are just all bibs. We don't put our knives on the wall anymore, so I'm going to get rid of this metal knife holder. This is straight up garbage, and this needs to be in a different room, all of the stuff in this basket. This is an organizer that I got at Ikea, and this is an egg poacher that I'm going to try to use again. The last time I used it, it did not work very well. And this is something that I'm going to use for organizing, like a little drawer tray organizer somewhere. This was a flower drawing and a flower Play-Doh thing that Raphael made a long time ago and I wanted to save. Yeah! 
Okay, these are just cookbooks that was in here, and I got some piece of flavoring and a bunch of garbage. These are just the hot pepper from, you know, the cayenne red pepper flakes. And there's like food crumbs in here, so it's gross. But I have three emptied out. These are all of her bibs. She's got like six bibs and two that need to be washed. And she's got this big bib that's like for art. And this is Raphael's for cooking. Got this at the dollar store. It's, it um, has a frog, um, water, it got water on it with a frog on it. That's right. And with mm. Rafael yes. on it. All right, so I'm going to put these books and this notebook and this recipe that I have right here. I'm going to put it in my food cabinet. This is still all stuff to give away and to throw away and trash and stuff to give away. And I have to put these up somewhere. And this is all the stuff that I'm keeping. I want keeping. these for my cooking things. Oh. I want them. I want to save them for my cooking things. They're my things. Okay, I forgot. I keep them. Okay, actually I had been looking for this pan because I I put paper on it, uh, the brown paper. This is a rusty pan. It's not a good one. It came out of a, a small toaster oven. But the only thing I've ever used this for was to flash freeze things. So I put brown paper on it and I flash freeze and I actually do need that. Hey, I've been looking for that. What are these for? Hold on, I'll get to it. These, I have two of them. They're hot plates. I want them. So I'm not getting rid of them. And they also double as pictures. So you can take them off the wall and use them as hot plates. And these two hot plates, the silver ones, we got them at Ikea. And I have never used them. I have decided not to ever buy things for other people. Yeah, what are these? I do not have people over and I do not cook for people. So why I got those, I don't know. Hadar thought it would be a good idea. So I have these roosters. Whoops. Baby sleeping, hope she didn't wake up. Anyway, I like them a lot, but I'm never going to use them again. We're trying to get rid of stuff, minimalize, and move here soon, so it's just uh -oh. full of uh -oh. dust right now. What's this that? Clock, What's that? What's that? This clock that came from Walmart. Why am I keeping it? And um. it's so dusty, but it did keep the dust off of all this stuff. I have to actually see if this is even any good. They're brand new. Um, if they're not good, maybe I can... Dang, there's a lot of them. I used to make sushi for Hadar. Um, if they're not good, then maybe I can roast them up and, like, give them to the children to eat. Roasted seaweed. Hmm. And what are these Possibilities. hot roast pizza... What are these hot roast pizza things? They have this hot roast inside of them. It's, it's uh, red pepper flakes. Oh! I don't want that. I don't want to taste it. Because <laughs> it makes my everything in my mouth hot. I want to taste that. I want to taste these. Okay, I sorted this out not too long ago. These are all of my measuring cups. But I also have some camping cups in here. Some stainless steel that I do use for my children. Because I like them to not use plastic utensils and things. So... This is a cup for camping, you know, a bowl, and that's a cup. These two are mine for snacks. That's right. They're They've always been his snack containers. Yeah. Yeah. They were my snack containers. They're my lovely snack containers. And it's really hard to throw anything of his away. So I have all of these, and they're, they're sorted. If I need something, I go in there and get it. So I'm leaving this one alone. And now I just have one more, and I don't think there's that much in there. Let me see that one, that basket. Oh, it's full of this big bottle? Just give me the basket, the whole thing. Oof. Thank you. It's not heavy enough. All right. Okay. This is from Ikea. Yep. And it came out of the car because it's been in there for two years, so I just got it out of the car. This goes to my blender, so I'll keep that. Yeah. This... Um, I use it periodically. 
This I use when we make pancakes. It's one of those Tupperware measure. I don't measure nothing. I just throw it in there. And then I pour. The only reason I use it is for the pour. Um, here's some tape because you have to have tape. And these are my mixer things and my other stand mixer, which I use this one more than anything. There's another one of my rings. I have to clean this basket out because it's really filthy. And then I made a proper mess here that I have to clean up now. But it's pretty much empty. Those are going to go to give away except for that one down there. But the two, I'm giving those away to my mother-in-law. Here I am again. Okay, so while he's wiping this off, I'm going to go through this stuff and sort it into throw away, give away, and give to my mother-in-law. It'll clean this bottom of it off. Because some of the stuff that, like, I don't want to give her old rags, but they can still be used by somebody who wants to use an old rag. So... I'm cleaning this picture off. Yeah. Whatever I usually put out next to the trash can, people take. So... It's good. I like I like that people like to reuse things here. Okay, I just threw some stuff away. I forgot. Um, but I have a bunch of spices here. I'm not throwing any of those away because spices are good. And we have a lot to go through. Like, I want to go through all of this and use all of it. We have some flavorings. I had to throw some of the flavorings away because they were from literally 1970. <laughs> Yeah, this one's probably from the 80s. I brought that from... Let's, let's see if it has a... It doesn't have an expiry date, but I'm pretty sure it's from the 80s. But it's pineapple flavor. Why am I keeping it? I don't know. This, I believe this is from the 70s. Yeah, I should probably get rid of that. But it does taste just like root beer. Um, got some Indian seasoning that Hadar made, and Hadar wrote on there, Indian. That's not what I wrote. Oh, got some, yeah, you did, you wrote Indian. I wrote Indian. Indian. With the smile. Oh, yeah. I was thinking American Indian, but got some, whoo, chili. Or smoked paprika is what it smells like. Garlic. Um... This is vanilla that I ground up. That I could probably get rid of. Look at all those vanilla seeds though. Oh, it's really good. Oh, look at that. No, I'll probably save that. <laughs> I have a hard time. Huh? If you're going to move an apartment, you know you're yeah. going to move soon. Here's what you should think about when you try to get rid of things. What? I'm either not ever going to use it and just going to get rid of it, giving it away anything, you know, not necessarily throwing it away. Uh-huh. Or, I'm going to have to pack it in two months. Right. So, this is Andrea. <laughs> not two months, but, you know, if she doesn't do away right. with all this stuff, in two months, you're going to find herself with two kids at home <laughs> and a bunch of boxes to pack. Yeah. We don't want to do that. This right here, um, it's green tea, and I should be drinking it, so. Oh, and also, I have a whole bunch of better stevias. The liquid stevias with flavors that I forgot all about. And I forgot so far about it that this is from 2014 and it's completely crystallized inside Valencia Orange and it's never been opened. So bad. Bad, bad, bad. These are like $15 or something. So that's bad. That's another tip. If you're yeah. gonna use something, put it in your grip, like in front of your face. In front of your face. It's like these were here, and I forgot all about them. I didn't, I didn't know I had that many flavors. Those were even for the cooking channel back then. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're pretty old, but um, flavors stay pretty good. Need to use that. Not using these anymore. Probably give these away. So I have literally a whole cabinet empty, basically. It's so very, very good. Yeah, he because loves if that. If you ever move to a really small apartment, which is a uh, viable option, yeah. we'll have like three cabinets, and that's it. Deal with anything, you know? Yeah. Have what you use, 
Yeah. Have it. That's it. Absolutely. Okay, the husband and the child just woke up, the baby. So I got these three baskets the empty. Woke up what? The husband just came back, and, and then the child. The child. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Anyway, I got one basket that I have to sort out. It's everything that I want to keep. I need to put this someplace and actually use it. All this stuff. Uh, need to wash this. It's empty. And use this too. Homemade chai tea. I'm gonna get rid of this one. So I'm gonna wash it in case my mother-in-law wants it. I'm just gonna give her stuff and say, hey, you can throw anything away that you want. If you want it, keep it and use it. So that and I did decide to keep these. I just couldn't let them go, but I I got rid of the red and black ones. So this is what I have left and this. We have to just pick everything up off the floor right now. And this is everything that's going to go to my mother-in-law. Lids. I got to get some mason jars out for her too. A mixer, maybe she'll want that. Some good towels. These are good ones. There, nothing wrong with them. No holes, no stains. Um, her container that she gave us some stuff to go in. My roosters. These, maybe they will use them outside for barbecue. The iron... The magnet thing for the, the blah blah blah. A big old thing, a cumin that I'm never gonna use. This is a chocolate melter in a microwave, and then you pour it. A bunch of bowls. A silverware thing. This thing I showed you earlier. Some drink jugs and a container like that, and some cutters. And this is a novelty item, some corn holders. They don't have those here. So that's what I got out so far. And this is all the stuff that's going to go out into the garbage for people to pick over. Yeah. Andrea's second profession. Right, picking. So I just have a few things to clean up here, but not right now. Come back next year for part two. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't break. I'm giving away some stuff. This goes downstairs. It's definitely gonna break. This is part of a really long series, so come back to see every other part of it. And then finally, at the very end, I will have a kitchen reveal, which is nice and organized and minimalized. Thanks for watching!